This video will outline step 4 in the process of installing your IP camera system. Connecting your cameras. Once you have configured all of your camera's IP addresses, ensuring there are no IP conflicts, and set up your cabling, it is time to connect each camera to your network. At this point, you should have run all your Cat5e cable. You should also have drilled holes where you will be mounting the cameras that are large enough to fit the camera's pigtail through. Start by feeding the Cat5e cable through the hole. Connect it to the camera's pigtail. With the cables connected, push the pigtail back through the hole. It is important to note that even while the camera itself is weatherproof, the pigtail is not. For this reason, make sure that if your cameras are mounted outside, the pigtails are secured inside the wall. If you are using more than one camera, chances are you will not have enough network ports on your router alone. For this reason, it is suggested that you use a switch box to connect your cameras to the router. For demonstration purposes, this is how your connection should look. You should have one length of Cat5e cable running from each camera back to the switch box. Then you should have one Cat5e cable running from the switch to the router. More likely than not, the cameras you have purchased are PoE capable. If that is the case, you can use a PoE switch box to run power to the cameras over the Ethernet cable. You will have no need of using an external power supply or power box. If the switch box you are using is not PoE capable, then you will need to either use individual power supplies for each camera or a power box. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to hit that like button and subscribe to our YouTube channel and like us on Facebook. Thank you for watching.